today we are talking about most common endocrine disorder in women that is pcos hi this is dr bharati obstetric and gynecologist fertility specialist working at karun john hospital nagarkoil what is pcos that is polycystic ovarian syndrome the name itself tells us it is a small cyst that is multiple small cyst fluid filled sac seen in ovary this fluid filled sacs are caused by hormonal disorder now we will see why normal women doesn't have this fluid filled sacs why we can see only in pcos in normal women brain releases hormones in such a ratio that the follicle grows and uh, egg in the follicle mature enough to ovulate so in normal women the ovary will be like this but in pcos but in pcos the brain releases uh, hormones in such a way that the follicle doesn't grow and egg in the follicle doesn't ovulate and it forms as a small cyst in the ovary so in pcos we can see this small cyst with fluid uh, in pcos there is an uh, increase in androgen levels Uh, which is male sexual hormone but in normal women the male sexual hormones are very very small amount this causes ovulatory disorders in pcos is pcos and pcod is same because we can see many people use pcos and pcod before uh this entity was called as pcod that is polycystic ovarian disease but now we are not using this term pcod because this entity is formed by mixture of num so many syndromes so this is nowadays this is called as pcos that is polycystic ovarian syndrome how common can we see this uh, disorder pcos pcos is seen in uh, one in every five women who can get pcos PCOS affect all life span that is adolescent age group from 10 to 18 years reproductive age group late reproductive age group and uh, menopause group so it means it affects all ages thank you